We're back now with the latest on the coronavirus. Scientists are tracking a subvariant of Omicron that's the most transmissible yet, and it's already dominant in the United States. Three quarters of Americans are living in counties with medium or high COVID risk levels. ABC's Rena Roy has the latest. As the U.S. continues its battle against COVID-19, scientists are trying to keep up with new variants infecting Americans. The Omicron subvariant BA5 is now the most transmissible yet, accounting for more than half of new cases nationwide. Moderna announcing an updated vaccine that appears to produce more neutralizing antibodies against all variants, including BA5, compared to its current vaccine. The company planning to submit its data to the FDA this week. Week. Right now in the U.S., we're averaging about 100,000 new cases a day, and nearly 300 people are reported lost to the virus each day. In New York City, new cases are up more than 25 percent in the last two weeks. Officials recommending masking up indoors once again, with experts saying previous infection does not guarantee protection. You could theoretically be infected with multiple Omicron subvariants. California battling a positivity rate second only to the state's Omicron peak last winter. And experts think actual case numbers could be much higher because many are testing at home and not reporting those results. And now scientists are keeping an eye on another new subvariant of Omicron called BA 2.75. Just two cases have been detected in the U.S. And while it's too soon to say whether it will become dominant across the country, it has some mutations that are concerning to scientists. The mutations in Omicron BA5's spike protein give it the ability to be incredibly infectious and escape antibodies. And Omicron BA2.75 has even more mutations. With 67% of the country fully vaccinated, hospitalizations are just a quarter of what they were in January at the peak of Omicron. But still, 71 million Americans haven't received a single shot. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York. COVID-19 cases are still high in Virginia. The health department reported more than 2,100 new infections today. About 23% of all tests are coming back positive, and nearly 650 people are hospitalized with COVID across the state.